Hi, hey, ho, he, ha. Good evening from London, England. Or should I say good morning, good afternoon, or in some cases, good night and rest well from your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly. Here I am again. DLG ripping. Dele London Guna Space Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. Welcome again to my um, channel and um, got one headline and um, Thursday's gossip column to get through today. So this is another football content again for me. Well, another live recording for my football content. So um, before I get started, yeah, make sure you smash the thumbs up like button, yeah. Any positive feedback comment any positive feedback that i've been promoting for you guys to to do leave it in the comment section below positive feedback is what i promote make sure you um share this channel virally amongst your friends and your relatives yeah and um, tell them about dlg repping and, and make sure they spread the love and the support to their friends and relatives yeah don't just like comment and share please um subscribe to dlg repping and let's push this um some subscribe numbers up to over 200 subscribers the main aim is i'm going for a 1000 subscribers that is my aim so help me by um subscribing to my channel please and if you subscribe i'll shout you out yeah so let's get subscribing Otherwise, um, I've got first day's um, gossip column to come, but I'm going to read the headline um, in relation to um, Cardiff's um, City's ex-new striker at the time. He was on the plane and um, it collapsed and killed the, the pilot as well as the footballer himself. He goes by the name of Emiliano Sala. And I'm going to read from the head title. Sala plane organiser convicted over a fatal flight. The organiser of the flight in which footballer Emiliano Sala died has been found guilty of endangering the safety of an aircraft. What must have been in his head? Anyway, reading on. Sala 28 and the pilot... David Ibbotson, 59, died in the crash in the English Channel in January 2019. David Henderson, 67, of Hotham East Riding of Yorkshire, was found guilty after a trial at Cardiff Crown Court. He had also previously admitted trying to arrange a flight for a passenger without permission or authorisation. <laughs> so he admitted that he organised... Um, a flight for a passenger with no permission or authorization. Imagine if you killed that person. You know, that poor soul has lost. You know, you have to think about their friends and relatives. And um, thoughts are with Emiliano's um, friends and relatives if they're just read if they're just hearing about this um, culprit who is responsible for the death of their son and the death of someone else's son who was the pilot at the age of 59. It's a tragic way to lose your life. And Emiliano Sano was on his way to Cardiff to sign um, for the club in a long-term deal. And um, he had his life tragically taken away by an incompetent culprit of someone who's had no care for yeah no care in the world for life he obviously <clears throat> he is responsible for the death of um emiliano sala and that can't be given so tonight i'm sure his family will rest well knowing that there's justice for their son their footballing son their footballer of a son should i say in emiliano sana Emiliano Sala, rest in peace, my friend. 
So moving on to um, today's gossip column, and let's see what's going on in the transfer speculation of the world. Because <laughs> it, it states here, according to the Star, Liverpool have joined Manchester United in the battle to sign Leeds and England midfielder Calvin Phillips in a £60 million deal. <laughs> yep, English um, talent, which he is. He is a talent, but £60 million, well... If it is to happen, that's not going to be Calvin Phillips's fault. Let's be real about it, yeah? The fee is um, £60 million according to what it says on the star. Paris and Jamal have joined the race to sign Leeds winger Rafinha after receiving glowing references from his Brazil teammate, Neymar. That's team talk there. There's an article coming from them. Liverpool is one of the clubs that has expressed an interest in signing England midfielder Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund. Now, this young man is a hell of a talent. 18 years of age, and um, he's got the world at his feet. I do like the look of him. Mark Overmars, according to um, the Telegraph via Woodball Premier, Mark Overmars will leave Ajax to become Newcastle's director of football in January or February. That is well on the pipeline here. I mean... Arsenal would love to have him in that position instead of um, the director of football that we do have. Anyway, that's another story. Manchester United will be forced to pay Ole Gunnar Solskjaer a 7.5 million severance package if they sack him now. This is coming from the Sun. Well, um, according to a source um, close to the club, Solskjaer is to remain as Manchester United manager, despite that diabolical display against Liverpool. I need I say more? Manchester United players turned on Solskjaer during a dressing room inquest. That's coming from the Times. That wouldn't surprise me, personally. You know, they went 4-0 down at half-time to their arch-bitter enemies, Liverpool. That is personal. That's beyond personal. That's, you can't even call it humiliation. That's deep. Can you imagine the Manchester United fans leaving at half time because they have seen a hell of enough? Portugal forward Cristiano Ronaldo has attempted to rally the Manchester United dressing room and encourage teammates to support Solskjaer. <laughs> I don't think they'll. Take that on board, some of the um, teammates of yours, um, Cristiano. It'll just fall on deaf ears. Whatever he's implementing in training, whatever has been said in meetings, I don't think the players are interested. And this is coming from the Manchester Evening News. Newcastle had a scout watching by a Leverkusen's attacking midfielder, Florian Witz, 18, as the Germany international played against Cologne on Sunday. This is coming from Bald Bill. According to Team Talk again, Borussia Dortmund are in contact with Chelsea over the future of Germany forward Timo Werner, English winger Callum Hudson Odoi, and USA winger Christian Pulisic. Oh, Borussia Dortmund are looking to do business here. All the best to them. Liverpool plan to use a single oh sorry, Liverpool plans to use a signing on fee to help Mohamed Salah become the highest earner, but reports that Egypt forward is asking for five hundred thousand pounds per week in a new contract are inaccurate. Wow well, <clears throat> five hundred thousand a week, I mean can you see Liverpool paying that? As much as they love Salah, they won't give him that money. Because they just won't give him that money. It's not for the sake of... It's nothing to do with whether Liverpool can afford that fee. But that is a hell of a lot of money. That's £1 million every two weeks. I don't think that's happening at Anfield. But Liverpool fans, um, if you want to get in contact, leave it in the comment section below. Michael Edwards is planning to leave his role as Liverpool's sporting director at the end of the season. And... It, 41-year-old Englishman does not have a new job lined up. This is according to Football Insider. And um, according to what I'm reading from AS, 
Barcelona have made an inquiry. Sorry, Barcelona have made an initial inquiry about Monaco's Brazilian fullback, Keo Henrique, 24. Excuse me. Uh, and this is according to AS here. Right. That's um, the end of this recording. So I've covered um, everything possible in the first day's gossip column. And um, I spoke about um, Emilio Sana. So I'm going to wrap it up here and say, ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you for listening. If you've been listening, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. As I always say, saving the best to last. Thank you for putting up with me. Really um, privileged. Other than that, um, I'll be back tomorrow with um, a preview of Leicester City versus Arsenal. So watch out for my preview on that. You know, my night in 11, etc. And on top of that, yeah, um, take care of your friends, take care of your families, take care of yourselves, stay safe as much as you can, especially if you're in London at this time of the day. Um, peace again, love again, and bless again. Once again, until next time, we speak again. From your host, your guy himself, DLG Repping. Remember the name. I'm out of here. Just please be nice.